Well, the idea behind Decred is to create something whereby we have a, a governance foundation so that we can build any feature we want to and add it into the project. So uh, most coins out there have, you know, one feature essentially that that makes the project that they're known for. Um, the idea with Decred is, you know, we want to be a sustainable currency that's going to be around for a long time. We want to be able to integrate all the best ideas from the space. So uh, what we did first is the really hard part, building a technical foundation to be able to have that kind of that kind of thing happen. Bring features in and uh, you know have controlled hard forks on chain and go from there. Basically, the Decred developers were originally Bitcoin developers, and uh, they thought that you know if Bitcoin's going to be a money protocol, you know, you're going to have multiple implementations of it, right? So it's like, you know, there's not one TCP IP stack out there. If it's going to be a money protocol, you're going to have to have, you know, competition and diversity in the ecosystem. So what they did is they built something called BTC Suite. That's a Golang implementation of Bitcoin. And uh, what they wanted to do is, you know, build something with a robust, uh, extensible code base so that they could add different features into Bitcoin eventually. Because they thought, you know, the best technical ideas in Bitcoin would rise to the top and Bitcoin would develop and mature over time. Um, that turned out not to be the case and Bitcoin kind of stagnated for the past uh, few years and um, their frustration with that led to, led to Decred. What we saw with, with Bitcoin was that having you know, proof of work miners who may or may not actually care about the future of the network and you know, possibly only want a quick ROI on their hardware, uh, making decisions about the technical uh, the technical future um, it isn't the best, and uh, having a core group of developers essentially who also, you know, may or may not have skin in the game and you know only care about the short term potentially, uh, also not the best. So, with with Decred, we tried to do two things. The first is um, have a sustainable funding model, so that we're not reliant on outside corporate corporate financing, because um, we saw there could be some capture there whereby you have one group start to monopolize uh, the development of a coin and want to take things in one direction for, for their financial gain. Um, so that was one big part. Be, be self, self-funding and have the stakeholders, essentially people who own the coins, make all decisions relating to governance as opposed to having proof of work take on that role. So with the hybrid proof of work, proof of stake, what happens is um, the block reward is divided into three. 60% of the block reward goes to proof of work, 30% of the block reward goes to proof of stake, and 10% goes into a project subsidy fund, which we use to develop Decred. Now, the way that works is that proof of work essentially builds the blocks just like in Bitcoin. Um, but we've commoditized the block construction process, whereby after the block is built, um, their, their work is done. You know, they don't get to make decide, decisions about you know, where the network goes. Proof of stake then goes and looks at the previous block that was built and votes on whether or not it's, they believe it's valid. So think of it as like a two-factor authentication on a blockchain. So with proof of stake, you basically have the stakeholders making decisions on whether or not the chain should be extended. Um, and since we require um, five votes on every block, uh, three of those five votes have to decide that the block is valid for the chain to continue. To be a stakeholder, you take your decred and you lock it up into something called a ticket. And there's a pool of tickets that has a target size of 40,960. And it's just a lottery with a plus on distribution whereby um, every time a block is built, for that block to be valid, for it to conform to the consensus rules, five tickets must be randomly chosen and included in that block. And then when that block is published, those people who have those tickets get called to vote on the validity of the previous block. So basically quality control on the previous block, and they get to say things like, hey, you know, that block, uh, that was an empty block. I don't like that. You know, I'm going to reject that block. So it's, it, they're not going to get your reward as a proof of work miner for mining that empty block. So we can actually have governance on chain that way. We're privacy nuts at Decred. So um, that's why we have a lot of respect for what uh, Zcash has done. We believe that, you know, for a currency to be a currency, it has to be fungible. You know, you need to have privacy. It's fundamental. Um, you can't go buy a cup of coffee and have your net worth revealed. You know, that just doesn't make sense. If, for these things to be usable, they need to be private. Um, maybe not by default, but privacy needs to at least be an option. So Decred, uh, our, our view is that it's going to be something that we're going to put a lot of focus on in, in the near future. Uh, we're going to have a privacy implementation released uh, within the next few months. Um, and again, it's absolutely necessary for, for widespread adoption in our view.